I'm Alex Popple. I'm the 4-H agent here in Breckenridge County, part of UK's College of Ag, Food and Environment's Cooperative Extension Service. And during this time, we're trying to keep our families healthy, and that includes our four-legged family members. So if you have a pet out there, I encourage you to try this really healthy, really nutritious dog treat. Now, a shout out to our 4-H Puppy Pals Club members. I encourage you guys to make this and post pictures in the comments section below um, this post. Now, I said this was very nutritious, and that's because it is packed with protein, fats, and lots of vitamins, minerals, and essential uh, nutrients. Now, an average dog requires about 18% protein in their diet and about 5% fat. And if they happen to be a puppy or maybe they're pregnant or lactating, then their daily requirements are gonna increase. They're gonna need a diet of 26 to 30% protein and about 15 to 30% fat. So in order to provide that um, healthy fat and protein in this snack today, we're gonna be including ingredients such as eggs and some delicious peanut butter. Now our special ingredient today is going to be some canned pumpkin. And we're including this because not only is it tasty, but it's also packed with those nutrients the dogs need. So it's packed with vitamin A to keep their eyes, their skin, and their coat healthy, but it also has a lot of potassium to take care of their cardiovascular system and keep their blood pressure regulated and also take care of their muscle and, and the rest of their organs. And then it also has a lot of fiber to keep the colon rolling and keep their digestive system healthy. So lots of good nutrients um, within that one ingredient. So to start off today, uh, you're going to need about two and a half cups of flour. I'm using whole wheat flour today, but if you don't have that, you can substitute with all purpose. We're gonna need two eggs, a half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and then one full cup of our canned pumpkin. So I'm just gonna start adding the ingredients to our mixing bowl if you wanna come check it out. So we're gonna add all that flour. I'm gonna add that delicious canned pumpkin. We're gonna add the two eggs that I've already cracked. Sprinkle in that half a teaspoon of salt. And then the last ingredient, that peanut butter. This is a really simple, fun recipe. You basically just mix it up into a beautiful orange colored dough that's easy to spread out. And then we're gonna use cookie cutters to cut it into about a half an inch thickness into uh, different designs. Today we're gonna be making stars and four leaf clovers. Uh, keeping our 4-H theme, but you can use whatever cookie cutters you have at home. So I'm just going to start mixing our ingredients together. This is a great recipe to try with your family and your friends, especially if you have some, some young siblings or uh, young kids in the household. And then if you're like me, if you like to make a mess when you're cooking, you can forget the fork and start using your hands, which I think I'm gonna do. And you just wanna make sure all your ingredients get mixed in really well. This is gonna be a wet, kind of sticky dough, but it's gonna be worth it. Get all that flour and all the the wet and dry ingredients combined as best as you can. And you can really smell that pumpkin and the peanut butter. It's a really good combo. So once you get it pretty well combined, you're going to spread it out and you can use a rolling pin, but like I said, I like to use my fingers and just smash it. Try to get it the thickness um, that you want. We're going for about a half an inch today. Now it's gonna be a little sticky. You can flour your working surface if you want, but I think it's really um, beautiful dough. So then you're gonna take whatever cookie cutters you have at home and start cutting out the shapes that you want. And then you're just gonna place this onto a cookie sheet and cook it for about 40 minutes. 
and you're gonna end up with some beautiful dog treats that they're really gonna love because they're tasty and they're really healthy. So join me back in a couple seconds and we'll, we'll get to see our finished product. I'm just gonna keep cutting out some beautiful dog treats. Well, we're back and I've taken the dog treats out of the oven. They've been baking for about 40 minutes and they've gotten nice and brown and golden and they're gonna harden as they cool. But we have an entire plate full of some delicious and healthy dog treats. So try it at home and enjoy.